company. A social and poverty assessment survey will soon be underway in Dominica as well as other OECS countries in an effort to improve the living conditions on the islands. This initiative, which will be funded by the Caribbean Development Bank, will be undertaken in eight OECS countries and ten non-OECS countries. It will provide data on poverty, living conditions, and social development. A two-day meeting involving regional stakeholders was held at the Fort Young Hotel to update them on the current status of the countries as well as to put the necessary framework in place for this initiative. Social analyst Albert Ellis told CBN4 during an interview earlier today that the survey will take into consideration a number of factors. The survey contains five key elements. We'll be doing a survey of living conditions and a household budgetary survey. We'll be doing a participatory poverty assessment, an institutional assessment, a macroeconomic social analysis, and uh, geographic information systems. This is a, the fifth component, component, which is a new one for this type of survey. We will, will be collecting data to do a quantitative analysis, looking at survey um, household conditions, and to complement that, we'll be doing a qualitative um, questionnaire type um, interviews we'll, where we'll be going to communities We'll be having focus group discussions and so on. So the quantitative and the qualitative data would complement one another. We are also looking at an institutional assessment of social development agencies and ministries that deliver programs to the poor. And out of that, recommendations would be made as to how to improve the targeting mechanism and providing a, a holistic framework where the poor and vulnerable can get support from the state. The new According to Ellis, at the end of the survey, a national assessment team will be set up to make recommendations for the determination and restructuring of social programs in Dominica. Among representatives attending the meetings were from the United Nations Development Program, the OECS Commission, and the United Nations Children's Fund.